The lens is a little dirty, I think. I have my fucking grandma's house. All right, hold up. Well, there's the first drop for the M50. You took that pretty well. All right, so updates. Let's see, we're still in Chicago. We're headed back home. I don't leave till tonight. My flight is not until 9.30. Like I wanted to go see a movie. I want to go see the Avengers basically because I haven't seen it yet and everywhere I go, obviously I know what's happened already, but it's just kind of like, but let's see, birthday. So I really did not do much. I didn't, re I just kind of walked around. I ate food. As far as food goes, I did not deviate from my nutrition journey. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't eat anything that made me feel like shit. Basically, I ate only steak and salad while I was here. Stayed in my fasting window. I didn't overeat. I didn't eat after time. It was basically just super, just like normal shit. Like I just kind of wanted to be in a new space out of my apartment, out of, away from everybody and just kind of make stuff. Like and that's what I did. I just worked on stuff and bought myself birthday gifts. Um, aside from this trip here, uh, I bought myself more music equipment because it's basically what I did here all week. And well, I also got myself this yellow backpack because I just feel like I saw the color and when I saw it, it put me in a good mood. So I felt like, hey, maybe having this yellow backpack will put me in a good mood when I'm in a bad mood. I'll just grab my yellow backpack. I don't know. That was my thought process. Well, this last week's a technically birthday present. This is a few orders that the home brought. This is the real gifts that I bought by mistake. So the Apple store in Chicago is ridiculous. That's a steak I had delivered. It's awesome, but it is ridiculous. I just saw these. This is made by Roly. These are basic MIDI controllers, but they're not MIDI. Bluetooth music, portable beat making production. I don't know. They're, I haven't really even figured it out yet. I just know it's super sick. And this is all gestural. I know I just said I ate really well, but Portillo's, everyone's asking me because I said something about Portillo. Because they have this cake shake thing, and I was totally going to go get one. I was like, yo, it's my birthday. I'm going to get a cake shake. First off, I Googled it, which was a bad idea because I Googled the, I Googled, I don't like saying Googled. I looked up, I looked up the... I looked up the, uh, just looked it up in general. Just fuck it. All right, I fucking Googled it. I Googled it in general, and then it came up that it was like a secret recipe. And then I was like, oh. And it said that the secret ingredient was mayonnaise, which just made me feel fucking weird. But that didn't even stop me. I got up. I was working. It was like 9.30. There's a Portillo's half a mile from here. So I was going to walk over there. Go grab a shake. Maybe a burger with no butter or something and just eat it. Spoke to Joy, walked halfway there. I got basically right to it and was like, dude, this shit is just gonna hurt my stomach. Like, this is just gonna kill my stomach. I'm gonna wake up today, tomorrow morning, and feel like complete shit. I was like, I should just get a fucking salad or a steak. So I got both. I got a salad and a steak. And I feel fine this morning. I feel great. I, mean, I think it's okay to deviate. Like, if you really, really want something, it's like, you're living life. You should totally get a milkshake or a cookie or some shit if that's what you really want in that moment moment if you can stop yourself from just like making it continue but also I didn't really want it I was just acting out of an automation I was just like oh birthday cake like it's so ingrained in my brain and it's so just like automatic that I consider it a treat because it was told to me it was a treat from like the beginning of time but that treat the thing that it's like the thing that is classified as so good at this point in my life makes me feel like shit it's really hard to justify at that point which is a breakthrough I guess because before I just be like oh it's my birthday fuck it you know so okay so it's uh I've, i'm packed i'm pretty sure so i'm gonna sit here and make beats for a little bit and people continuously ask me about making beats and how i make beats and uh for those of you that don't know beats in the vlog were made by either myself dirty urn Chris Bittner, who you guys have seen maybe once or twice, he's in New York, or the three of us together. They've, we've worked together for a long time. I haven't made beats now in like, I, mean, I made most of my beats in New York, some in Colorado. I probably haven't made beats in like three years, really. Like two, two years, three years. Since the vlog started, obviously I haven't really sat down and made like a body of work at all. I do have albums that are out. We have the Mercy of the Light albums, and I do have two or three, maybe four, I can't remember, albums that I actually made music on. That's not what we're talking about. Anyway, um, uh, but I have this interest now to there's a lot of new equipment out. I have more time uh, Not really, but I have I have a purpose and a reason and a place for the beats and I like really really used to enjoy doing it So I spent a lot of money in the past past couple of weeks So it's time to actually uh, get a return on that investment <laughs> You know and actually work on it, but I have a lot of help 
when I make a beat. Anytime I make a beat, I usually get to a stopping point, I send it over to people and we work on it together and kind of alter it. It's the same way that I design t-shirts. I, I get to where I get with it and then it's cleaned up, fixed up, blah, 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 by somebody else because I'm generally on to the next idea and just making something else. I don't have time to button up every little thing. I just, I don't, or I'll just keep losing ideas as, the, as things happen. So uh, with machine, people ask me too, biggest question lately is would I get a machine or a machina MPC? I get into that argument with myself, like what's the best? If you understand one software, that's the best. If you don't understand any of them software or hardware wise, just whichever one you think looks the most fun or has the features that you you want because it's really about learning the equipment once you learn the equipment it's a lot easier but that being said I don't know Machina very well right now like it's very similar to what I have used but even with the newer one I didn't really get into too much I have a lot to learn still like I have a ton 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 to learn I went to the art museum all day yesterday which made me realize I have a ton to learn in the painting world there's just a ton to learn I think I 36, which is how old I turned yesterday, I just, it dawned on me that I still have so much more life to live. I don't feel old. I don't feel tired. I just feel like I hunger to learn more. That's, that's literally it. Um, and do more and create more and make more. That's, that's like literally all I want to do. I just want to the wheels fucking fall off, I guess. But with that being said, there are people out there who do this way better than me. I'm only doing this because I'm sitting here doing it. We're vlogging, I'm showing you, some people care. Uh, as far as making beats, I don't have like an actual one way that I do it. I just kind of go with whatever. I just play around until something makes sense. I do not read music. I do not write music. I don't play instruments. I can play this, um, you know, but I can't like sit here and play you, you know, Moonlight Sonata or anything. I can definitely throw a beat together pretty quick. So I'm gonna do here, let's see. It's not very good, but it's a baseline. Might even get rid of it. All right, so we'll like throw this sound in here. So that first sound I don't even like anymore, so I get rid of that. So sometimes that just happens, I just like, do shit and then I lose my first original idea just goes into something else but and then I'll do it in an order a lot of people are real methodical and I'm not at all like that slow it way down so we're running it originally I made the beat at 125 Ba 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 it's got like a slow it down from 125 to 95. Yeah, but pretty much from there you can add whatever, you know, like, you know, whatever, add some real effects, all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of stuff to do. It's, it's really endless with beats. You just kind of start sketching. Rowdy 5000. out on the street well I got nowhere to go and I got somewhere to be so I'm gonna eat this head to the movies I'm gonna leave this bag probably right here comes and finds it it's full of swag full of swag other bag of goodies here it's just t-shirts people are looking at me crazy 
They're leaving bags laying around town, but they're just t-shirts, so that's it. Go! What's up? We're artists and we just thought we looked important, so we was like, yo, let's just like see who that is. All right, so there's no mic on the camera, so onboard mic, hopefully you're working, but uh, we gotta run back to the hotel, grab my, basically head to the airport. You know, hiding bags, I got one more bag to hide. I'll leave it at my hotel. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Then uh, Avengers was amazing. Action packed, ridiculous. Absolutely crazy. I'm not gonna spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it. My only real initial thoughts, it's really good, it's really crazy. I think people that think that anything that they saw, that's, they think it's final, they probably didn't read that many comic books. That's my initial theory. I don't know if there's a storyline this is following, but I would just like to say that ain't shit final. I think performance art and shit like that is cool in a sense too because it's a thought out. Speaking of which, you did see This Is America, right? I haven't yet. <laughs> because I, you know what happens? This is why I don't see these. I see so much hype and I'm not even a Childish Gambino fan and I'm like, I don't want to see this. I don't You're not a Childish him. Gambino fan? Like at all? You don't like summer? You didn't like uh, I like the old shit, like Bonfire yeah. and I like, but that newer stuff, that singy stuff, I wouldn't yeah. be into it no matter who does it. Yeah. And I'm not hating on it, it's awesome music. Here's an urban political statement. Political statement. Politically correct. No, it is awesome music, but I'm just, I don't feel it at all. Mm, well, but, we sh you should probably watch it. I know, you know what bothers me too is that everyone hates on Kanye and everybody's like, Donald Glover's what Kanye should be and this and that and like... Those people miss the point. They're playing into the irony of the whole thing. Yeah, They're Donald playing Glover's into... white. No, what? No, I know, compared to Kanye. That's not the fucking answer either. This is what I'm talking about. Like, the fact that you felt like you just needed to say something slight. The fact that someone else sees something and they fucking need to say something slight. I'm not this, slighting, I'm saying this is how people but are you looking just at slighted it. Donald Glover. Lover, but that's what I'm saying. Like you just did it because they did it. Like they said something, someone else who doesn't understand shit, X, Y, Z, let me compare these two things. When they're both fucking individuals and should just stand on their own individual. I agree with that. But you just- I'm using an example of what someone said. said. Donald I'm, Glover is white compared to I'm Kanye. saying that's what, there's two views of Donald Glover. There's people that are just like compared to Kanye, he's like a white guy, he's an Uncle Tom type guy. Am I allowed to say Uncle Tom? I don't know. You're but, just quoting what someone else yeah, says. Yeah, yeah. So. And, The point being, I don't feel as if most people are graphic. Yeah. Or that people just don't, like to take away from that video, in general, we make messiahs out of everybody. The dude from TMZ people wanted to elect president the other day. You know what I'm saying? Now Donald Glover should run. Those I people know. don't matter either because they're all like, save me. Like they're just yeah. waiting for some sort of messiah of some sort. The problem is, is that whether they're white or black, I don't give a fuck. Taking people who are creative and make different creations and express themselves however they express themselves and then fucking saying X should act like Y because we like the way Y's act. That's is racist. Fucking, no, it's insanity. Well, yeah. It's like social. But say like, he's a black man and he should be acting more like Donald Glover seems I don't insane. think that that's really, yeah. I, I mean, I guess not I racist. Think, no, I don't think that's, the, I'm, how's my point being completely missed? I'm on the same The fact page that you, you anyone know. walks away from it, that shit, why are we always pinning artists against each other yeah why are we always pinning fucking people's accomplishments against each other why is that what we do even in a video that is showing you that like I, motherfuckers have basically fucking started college courses on trying to dissect this two minute video at this point but the literal first minute of the video is guy fucking making music singing a song that Don Glover is dancing to and that's the guy who shoots in the head I'm just gonna take this one little leap that is he's enjoying the entertainment that's being offered by this person, but he's older and, and he's over the song. He walks in a circle and he comes back and then he shoots him in the fucking head because he's over. That's the, but I, I'm sure there's more symbolism and that might not even be the truth. But that right there is all that I see like in some kill your idol shit. Instead of just listening to what everyone is saying, not taking a fucking position. Like, let's just like, I don't know how I feel about a lot of shit. A lot of this shit I'm not entitled to a feeling about. Well, you know that's what I mean? It's not my fucking plate. I, like a lot of people are getting mad because other people have feelings. A lot of this stuff, 
all the real shit doesn't affect me every day. Me so neither. I, I think what makes it hard though is when you see so many other opinionated people in any timeline, anywhere. It's, get off the timeline. To, yeah, you get off guess. the fucking timeline. Unplug yourself from the fucking matrix. But it's also like not helping them. You know, like the especially in social media. Like if you're trying to use social media as a tool. But who's it helping? The people putting out this content are the ones getting everyone to talk about. It. Yes, this is why I started YouTube. Like this is what I'm saying. This is I'm trying to drop this gym right now. Like see where. Straight up, it doesn't like the. If you want to join the people, like it's fine to watch things and enjoy them for what you enjoy them for. If you join the people that think they're directing, if you join the people that are debating, like on the side, you know, like yo, if I open so you're Reddit, then actually do it. If I open just... Reddit and there's a thread about, I don't, and they are all bashing on me. I don't c c come away from that being like. Oh my god, these people don't fucking like me. I come away with that being like, yo, this is some ill shit. Like, these people don't know me, and they're fucked. They've started, there's, a, there's 700 comments right here about me. They don't even fuck. Yeah. That is some ill shit. Like, you yeah. are fucking lost in the sauce. I've got you. Like, whether you like yeah. it or not, like, yeah. Kanye has people's attention, and people might not like it or whatever, but he has their attention. This whole art versus art thing, like, Donald Glover putting out a music video and then being like, Kanye West should have done this. Yeah. They have nothing to do with each other. It ain't shit either. If Kanye drops his album, on the first and everybody it's a masterpiece you know your conspiracy theory thing there's so many levels yeah. to it that people might not even just be trying to understand <coughs> and then yeah. there's just the level of hypocrisy like all the blogs and you know all these blogs and then people who run their sites Dude, or their no, social media like they're fucking a blog the only thing they have to talk about right, right, right now is whatever's this. current Say your whatever carcass hits the ground you motherfuckers talk about what's sleep apnea that's what you have. That's what Brandy told me last night. I keep stop breathing in my sleep. Yeah, you need to go get it checked out. That's why you breathe so hard. You're gonna die in your sleep. And then you're gonna die in your sleep, and then I'm gonna have to fucking deal with it. Like, not with the loss of you, with everyone else pretending like they fucking loved you so much. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're gonna become this fucking, like, you know? You know what I'm trying to say. People are gonna gas up your existence, like, oh man, the one taken way too early. I'm like, well, he could have gone to the doctor and gotten his fucking. He did stop breathing. While he was awake. Yeah, hopefully my mom doesn't watch this. Don't put this in the vlog. But this is a brand new last night. It's like you're snoring, and then she's like, you would literally just stop breathing. Right. So how do you fix that? You troll so hard that life trolls you back, man. Now you gotta wear a fucking gas mask to sleep. Looking like an under oath cover. Why well, don't too? That's from Adidas. Uh -huh. There's no picture on the front of these. That's interesting. Ooh. Oh shit! Got that motherfucker. What are those? That's the orange zest. We call this the orange Julius. We call this the extra frog. Tangy God slept. Dude, that is so much. Tangy slept. Well, you're gonna be bummed because they removed them from the website. They were up for three days. They sat still. Nobody bought them except me and a couple of other smart folks out there. And now they're gone. So you lost out. They've been canceled. Adidas said, "Y'all want to treat NMDs like a side chick? We got a new man. And now what are you doing? Now what are you doing?" You're online, <laughs> bored, can't find shit. I'm just sitting here holding a fucking pair of NMDs with extra fucking laces. When's the last time a pair of NMDs came with extra laces, fam? When? I'll tell you when. The static. No static. But no, seriously, they drop on the 10th, I think. Oh. I think they released early and then they just like took it off the web. Dude, they They've been doing that lately. City I think too. it's a marketing thing. I don't think it's an actual mistake. It's like give people an early shot, remove it. Happy would be like, fuck, I missed it. And then I'd figure out how much people want it too. Yeah, like if you give them an early shot and it's gone, yeah, you're like, oh, this is gonna feel cook. Like yeah, strategy. Don't sleep. Don't get yeah. caught sleep. Don't know what you're That's got. right, drop right now. Get to the site. Go. Keychains, thousand dollars piece. There's only a hundred. Um I didn't even know we were getting them. They're fire, huh? This is so funny. The That's... blocks are three M. Get the fuck. And you get yeah. dude. This is the pair of the year. Get me. Get get we gotta wear our like when? The 10th? 10th? That's in two days. Adidas.com. I'm going, what do you think of the my, me, 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 my Adidas? You know, you can do the Ultra Boost with the multicolor now. The 4.0 one. Well, they say there's only 7,000. That's what they're saying. Well, because I was yeah. like, dude, I'll put the black and cream. Well, I'm glad they didn't do that. Because then it gets goofy, man. Yeah, like, I get what you're saying. It's just like a fucking then, free for all. Then like, they're like, no, she was, can't tell the difference between custom and real and fake. And then yeah, it yeah. just starts these stupid conversations about what's a real shoe. And yeah. it just takes away from just enjoying a fucking shoe that so got I, made. I, I will, no. Except, <laughs> no, I will fuck with any customizing shit, I mean. Like, I like them straight as is, oh, but I, I do kind of want... I change my mind sometimes. Oh! Oh, what? Shit! 
It's that cool water. No way. Yeah, boy, that ocean, that Dude. motherfucking surfing turf. These are the best you slept. shoes. You slept. What the you fuck? Slept. Is this out Dude. of the tent, too? Icicles, boy. Call me. Look, they were sitting. I got them for half off, too. What you know? No. Oh. No. What's up, girl? Shout out to the plug. Uh, uh, uh. We got that motherfucking mint green. This is from StockX. Uh oh. Huh? Kit? Probably. No. Two shoebox. No. Uh, close. This is close. That's close. Shout out to the motherfucking boys. StockX sent me a fake, man. Oh my god. Here's my video. Fuck. The black Kith racer hoodie that I did not get. They sent me my size. Shout out to them. The black one, which is the one I really wanted in the first place. Yes. Um, I have that Kith jacket coming too that just dropped. I got the shorts, they're too small. They're like hella small. Nice. Like me, short. Let me see. They're expensive. Let me see. <laughs> and then if I like them, then you tell me. I'm like, How much are they actually telling me? I think they're retail for 125. Oh, it's not that bad. If they're really cool shorts. Oh shit, this off-white shirt did come. Oh shit. My man. It was the fucking. He caved. Get your tweets ready. Teddy's back. This isn't the one that smells like fucking shit, Whoa. though. It must have been the Adidas shirt that I ordered. I ordered an Adidas kit. And they told you they weren't going to send you because it smelled like smoke, but, yeah, it, but they must I have thought, got the hoodie wrong. Or I thought, you read it wrong. I, yeah, I probably read it wrong. Yeah, this smells fresh. Seriously. <laughs> Yeah, I just didn't even like look at it. I'm a fucking idiot. Completely wrong. I guess I just assumed it was the hoodie, and then when he sent me the picture, it's the Adidas hoodie. It's the velour half zip hoodie that I ordered. The off white. Then you're good. Funny. Well, it's funny because I made that whole. <laughs> that feels like a clickbait video now. Sometimes life clickbaits you, man. Yeah. This is weird. This is crazy. Hey, man, let me touch my off white side. I'm just kidding. It's a hype beast, man. It's a hype beast day, man. Help dog hair on it in fucking 20 minutes. Yep. It's crazy how much this hoodie costs. How much? $666 is retail. Oh my god. Yeah. Hmm. Like, is it gonna change my life? Uh, it's gonna be a few less stakes. No, I didn't pay for it. Oh. Shout out to StockX, dude. I didn't pay this up. So, wait, this is not supposed to come out. Are you joking? That comes out. Some people just wear this hanging off, just keep this hanging off. That's definitely not happening. Hey! Brother! Get off the car, boy! Supposed to rock it. Oh. Damn. <laughs> just start putting in all your jeans. Yeah. Do you want to you make a custom pair of off-whites today? We can go get a stencil and some yellow spray paint and we'll just paint those. No. I can't. Dying to know what a $600 sweatshirt feels like. What a $600 sweatshirt feels like. The teddy. <laughs> Pretty big. All right, first first opinion, it's pretty big. I like it, it's definitely, God, it's big hood. That's a huge hood, dude. Yeah, I mean, it's like. Look at that hood, you can fit Omar in that hood. I feel like fucking a ninja, nin I feel like fucking a ninja. I feel like a fucking ninja. Dude, just see how, look how high it goes, you can fit two fucking heads in there. You gotta look in the mirror, it's, yeah. I don't wanna pull head down. Wait. There he goes. Hey, Omar, that's off white, dog. Oh, my you can put your speaker in there. Roll He's around. like, where's that coming from? Yo, right up here. Fam. Right up here, dog under the hood. Jeff Kirby sent this package. So he sent, got rid of this shirt. And he said I could give it to you, but I'm not giving it to you. I'm keeping it for myself. Because you don't fuck with A-Life. And it says fuck on the back. And he only sent it to you because it's an extra large and he's acting like it won't fit me. And it will fit me. Okay. Because I'm about this life. I and he too. also sent me these color pants. As a gift. Color joggers. And then this hoodie is for you. No. Oh. Who's this from? Jack Kirby. Jeff Kirby. Jeff Kirby. Jack Kirby is who did Kirby Crackle. Oh shit. Speaking of Avengers. Who you what you know about Kirby Crackle? I don't know. Yeah. What you know about Kirby Crackle? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. These are the homies too. Nice. Yeah, these are your homies. Here you go. Nice. For you. I like the strings. I'll put it on right now. Sweet. But yeah, Jeff Kirby, you need to thank him. Make sure you thank him. At Jeff Kirby on Twitter. I'm gonna tweet at him right now with a picture of me wearing the hoodie. What's going on, but I'm gonna figure it out. Ah. Okay. There you go. 
go what? It's up. What the fuck ever, it's up. I just did it like four times. You ain't beat dog. Fuck out of my chair. <laughs> I'm a computer genius. No, I, I restarted it. I restarted no, it. No, you had, I don't know where the fuck you downloaded don't it from. No, look, because I'm going to show you this. Look. Vader OS X, it's a different thing. I got it. I'm on it. Eat a dick. I'm on it. I'm out here. Computer whiz. <laughs> Need a website. Hit me up. Need a website. Hit me up. Homie is fucking sick. An ad expression with simple gestures. Strike the surface. I'm gonna show you after that. Glide left and right. You got nice. sound coming out of there? Wait, I can't hear. No, it's not plugged in. I just hit myself on the, the metal tip on the off-white string. Oh shit. I just bashed my fucking eye with it. It's a dangerous city, dog. Bro, I can't see. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Like, I cannot fucking open my eye right now. Damn. Fuck you, Virgil. God damn. Lost Bro, I seriously Lost knocked the shit over with Virgil. Knocked the shit out of my eye. <laughs> this is amazing. It's pretty goofy. Oh my god. Yeah, bro. This shit knocked life. the shit out of me. Oh, yeah, I can open it in here. That's what it's for. Because when you fucking knock your eye out, you need a shield so that you can get your eye back used to light. God damn it. My eye is just like water. <laughs> Get it. Get it. Uh, shoot, shoot. I think it's the same pair as these, just different size, but uh Yeah, because you told him just to send your fucking weird ass size because you don't have real legs, yeah. you don't work out your legs. I did finally. That's part of the reason I got this gym membership. So you can work out your legs? Thanks, koala tea. Koala tea. Try these on. Gifts on, gifts on, gifts on. Gifts! Happy birthday to me! Look at this. We got Bleep Making Central right here. Back like the old days at the tattoo shop. Let's go to the pool. You got the keys? I don't have the keys because I don't know where my keys are. Oh, you have them. I'm not with me though. We're not going to the pool. I can't even leave my apartment. Best part of having the gym membership is now I can flex my shoes. Mm -hmm. Sleepy. Shoes. So there's a lot of shoes coming out. There's a ton of shit. I don't know what I have on the way right now. A bunch. There's another Alexander Wang with a completely fucking different upper that looks like it's a nicer upper. So I think I have that on the way. They're doing a Alexander Wang run in black. Definitely copping that. There's the sample mid the marketing behind it is it's a sample pair but it's they're releasing uh in consortium stores it's a mid it's crazy colored that's on the way those are the three i know of but i don't know i can't think of anything else that's out but anyway shoes that are here and arrived are these new nmds so these released on the website on adidas.com i don't know like a week ago maybe maybe a little longer they sat for three days People didn't really care. I copped both pairs and they got here while I was gone. So there's no photo on the box. So when there's no photo like this, what it tends to mean is that there's not a lot of pairs or at least not enough pairs to justify a sticker. Sticker like that. Size 12 and a half because 
basically perfect in the NMD. And then these are R1. First off, both of these come with extra laces, which does not happen. And they come with fucking two extra laces each. That's crazy. That doesn't normally happen. Well, I would, I'd say these are like fire and ice. This is definitely some Game of Thrones color shit. They're springtime, total poolside vibes. Shorts. I don't really wear shorts that often, but shorts. Uh, no socks, low cut socks. I'm headed to the pool. I just pulled up to the ice cream shop. It's just got that vibe. They're both summertime vibe. It's summer camp, if you will. Ba, 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 ba. Pastel posse. But still bright and vibrant. Both pairs are vibrant. Orange pair doesn't pick up on film the way that it looks in real life. It is tangy all day. The one that people like to have compared to so far, uh, the size, they are not even close to the same color. I know it seems like they will be way more pastel, chalkish, and this is just like highlighter vibrant. These are still bright though. They're very bright, but they're also very springtime. Reminds me of fresh cut grass. Like straight up, they don't smell like it, but obviously, no oh man, they're just very like, refreshing a lot of people say nmds are dead but we don't it's whatever we don't talk about that it's not it's you know it's whatever these these fit like any other nmd r1 and there's no difference really sizing is exactly the same 12 and a half is perfect everything is the same here so if you've never worn an nmd before usually people go half size down from their true size or their ultra boost size but i like to go between 12 and a half 13 it really just depends on what's available 12 and a half is more fitting to my foot just as a sock uh, there is no insult in these shoes so don't don't think that you're going to be able to take that out and then another shining moment for this shoe shining is the 3m bricks so i don't i was thinking of the only other pair with 3m bricks i believe are the key cities i don't remember i'm not that good at remembering key cities go for a massive amount of money it's the first nmd that looks like this right here. So they both have 3M bricks, it's light responsive. Back panel's not 3M, but the laces are. And then uh, clear bottoms on this just bring that whole freshness together. So orange pair, and then blue pair, fire and ice. The camo on these is a little different too. We've gotten the camo NMD for a long time. So old camo, the first R ones that we got was like, you know, there are a lot more colors sprinkled in there, peppered in. Uh, it had a much more digitized look to it just because of the contrast in those different colors. And then the patterns just kind of flip-flopped. This is really just two colors. This is a you know mint greenish blue, seafoam blue green, and another darker shade of blue green, whatever, whatever color your eye sees. The pattern is much more subtle in both of these pairs. You just don't see it. You just don't see it as the same as uh, previous. You know, it's just a little more subtle. The big question, is if these are gonna come out again or if they're actually coming out. The story that I heard is they're supposed to release on the 10th. They haven't released yet. Officially, they've been doing that and it's just kind of a thing. So um, yeah, they should drop on the 10th. I don't know. They should you know, maybe now at this point they'll sell out because there's been a little hype around it just because people feel like they missed. Good luck on the 10th if they, were if they drop, when they drop. I'm pretty sure they're going to drop. And, um, you know, they may actually end up being everywhere. Who knows? Yeah. They may be all over the place. There may be 200 pairs. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so that's the day. Um, um, anything else? Nope.